yeah. Oh, yeah. She think I'm a player. She keep running back though. What's up everyone? Welcome back to another Diesel Dog Garage video. It is a beautiful 25 degrees sunny in uh, Southern Illinois, 7 a.m. I'm on my way to work because I need to do an alignment on the Silverado. If you missed my last video, uh, we put new uh, front shocks and rear shocks. And I put half inch spacers in the front to lift the front a little more, making it, making it a total of two and a half inches of a level in the front um, but when you do that you're going to tweak the front suspension a little bit i got a steering wheel a little bit to the left i've also got a pull to the left so that's what we're correcting today i got up early i'm already three coffees deep feeling jacked ready to go i got some more stuff to do a little bit later but uh in this video this is what we're gonna this is what we're gonna accomplish you think you earned a day off on a saturday you're wrong i guarantee there's stuff you can be doing so get after it so here's what we're trying to fix here you can see my uh, i'm going straight down the road steering wheels kicked down a little bit to the left that's going to be a toe issue a little adjustments of the tie rod that'll fix that and also my pull to the left if i let go of the steering wheel you start drifting over so I'm gonna show you guys how to uh, check that or what you're looking for if you take it to a shop and get an alignment, um, what measurements you're gonna be wanting to look for. All right, guys, so you can see we got our alignment machine all hooked up. Got our measurements reading. Let's go over the screen, see what we got. So you can see our camber on the left side's off caster is way off on the right side that's going to cause a pull the less caster is going to pull that side uh, and our toe is in a little bit not terrible but I'm going to do a little tweaking and see if we can get these numbers better so this is what you're uh wanting everything to look like here this thing is pretty much you got a little bit of a difference between caster but a half a degree we're at 0.3 half a degree is pretty much not going to pull anything more than that you could end up with a pull our camber and toe is going to be our tire wearing measurements so as long as we're uh you know zero that's freaking perfect 0.3 not bad you got uh toe right where it needs to be so i'm pretty happy with that these tires are getting a little chopped i mean they're getting worn i still got some life left probably need to rotate them I'm not going to do that today but our line is done so i'll go ahead and pull the heads off here get out of here and we'll see how it drives maiden voyage your truck's driving good steering wheel i mean you'd be hard pressed to find a straighter steering wheel than that driving straight no pull because our caster if you remember is right where it needs to be now that our alignment is crispy we can get a uh, better feel of how the two and a half inch leveling kit's going to ride riding pretty good i'm pretty happy with it i was not it was kind of pain in the butt driving it this past week because it needed the alignment it was pulling and the steering wheel was off driving me nuts i'm kind of ocd about that stuff if you need alignment come to me because i will get your steering wheel straight can't stand a crooked steering wheel so i'm definitely happy now it rides about the same as it did with the two inch i had the two inch on before i just went another half inch maybe a hair stiffer i could be in my head i don't know i think it rides pretty good uh I do need to do brakes. My rotors are warped, getting more warped by the day, so I do need to replace those. But uh, I'm gonna pull it in the garage here and kind of explain to you guys why exactly you need to do an alignment after leveling out your pickup truck. A good way to understand what lifting your truck does to your suspension is just by getting a look down underneath. This is gonna, we're looking from the front of the vehicle back. This is the left side of the vehicle. Um, so this is going to be your tie rod, lower control arm, upper control arm, CV axle. You can see all of my angles now are not straight. Without a leveling kit, all of these would pretty much just be straight. And uh, tweaking the angles like this with a lift, a two inch block and then a half inch up top. Everything's kind of tweaked here. So as you go up with the inner tie rod being fixed to the vehicle, the outer tie rod being fixed to the wheel that stays on the ground, you're now angled 
and that pulls your wheel in. Your lower control arm is angled, your upper control arm is angled, and usually what happens is your the top of your tire moves in a little bit. So if you do a leveling kit like this, it tweaks this. Now you've got your tire pulled in on each side. The top of your tires moved in a little bit. That causes tire wear. Could cause chopping if driven too long. Then you're gonna ruin a set of tires. That is why I always recommend doing the alignment immediately after doing the leveling kit on any vehicle. I also would recommend getting upper control arms to compensate. These are stock control arms. You can see my ball joint angle is not straight up and down with the fixed point of the ball joint in the upper control arm now. Now it is angled out, it's almost maxed out. That's not a good, good thing to have going on. Um, there are upper control arms from Rough Country or Cognito, uh, Motofab. They all have upper control arms to compensate for that angle. Um, I plan on getting some, I just don't have them now. Also, you can see my CV angle is not great. So when doing the two inch leveling kit like this or two and a half inch, or some people are going three or three and a half, uh, just be prepared for extra suspension component wear, ball joints, tie rod ends, CV axles. Um, it's all putting stress on everything. I know what I'm getting into doing and I can fix it if anything goes wrong. Some people, some people throw them on here without uh, really realizing what they're doing to their suspension. There really is just no denying how much better these things look with a leveling kit on them though. The only thing that kind of bugs me now is the back is sitting just a hair lower. We're about an inch lower in the back now than the front. And uh, I'm just not into the, the whole squat, even a little bit like that, just kind of bugs me. So I'm thinking about doing is putting an atta leaf in the back, not doing the blocks. I want to put an actual leaf in there, bring up the back a little bit, just level her, level her out again. Get a little stiffer ride in the back, but that's all right. Let me know in the comments though what you think if I should keep it the way it is or maybe lift the back back end up a little more. This is going to tide me over until I can get wheels and tires, probably 17s or 18s on 33s, nothing crazy. Probably like a negative 12 offset, nothing more than that. Um, I'm not into the big 24 inch wheels on low pro tires and negative 76 offset. That's that's a young man's game. So hopefully this video explains a little bit on why you should do an alignment after doing a lift kit or any suspension mods on your truck. Even a two inch leveling kit, I would definitely recommend getting an alignment done. Even though a two inch isn't gonna move it too much, you're still gonna have towed in a little bit and you're gonna get tire wear. You don't wanna, an alignment's a lot cheaper than a set of tires, guys. Let me know in the comments what you think. If you guys run into this issue, like, subscribe, I'll see you guys in the next video.